At last the coastal marshes opened out. The lipped concrete causeway snaked through tidal lagoons with the wooded rim of Mersey Island to the west. Sails dotted the mouth of the black water, white and rust red. We were somewhere on the coast, standing on the hard boundary between land and sea. My name's Tom Bolton and my book is called Low Country, Brexit on the Essex Coast. When I got out here I realised that it was a unique landscape like nothing else in Britain. It's more like the Netherlands than what we expect of southern England and it's dramatic, it has huge skies, flat uh, tidal estuaries, vast estuaries in fact. It has islands, lots and lots of islands. We started to walk the Essex coast in early 2016. The process took two years, but as we began to walk, we realised that we were not just walking through a landscape, we were walking through a time as well. And those two years have been particularly turbulent. There's been the Brexit vote, there's been the election that led to Donald Trump becoming president, there's been the general election that followed in Britain. So there's there's been a whole series of era-defining things going on and it seemed that the walk was as much about the political context as it was about the place and that maybe Essex could tell us something about the country, the state of the nation, the kind of people we were collectively that we wouldn't have seen at all otherwise. Essex is known for its, its radicalism, it's known for its experimental ways of living, people setting up communes, anarchist communes, um, experimental religious communes, a lot of those sorts of things. People getting away from the establishment, the city, the, uh, the pollution, the crowds, and coming out here where it's empty and open. You can do things differently. Uh, but it's also known for quite extreme politics. This is the, the land of uh, UKIP, UKIP's only constituency, as, which it will probably ever have, as in Clacton. And it's a place where the anti-European movement really began. The MPs in the 90s under John Major who rebelled on the Maastricht Treaty were mostly from Essex so it has deep roots in this place and there are contradictions here, it's both progressive and regressive, it's a place that's both um, solid and disappears with every tide so there's something there that I felt needs to be explored that would help me and other people perhaps to understand something about the time that we're living in we moved on, entering a broomway trance, through a place that was more and more enticing. The sun was high, but a light coastal breeze cooled us. The sky swept from horizon to horizon, and the light reflected off the watery surface under our feet. We were truly in a provisional land, a place that would be gone in three hours. Nothing could be simpler or deadlier than to walk east, straight out towards the North Sea, across the endless surface. When the tide turned, it would cover the flat sands faster than running pace. 